My name is Jonathan Gerard. I'm the director of orchestras at UBC School of Music, and I'm a Peter Wall Scholar. A conductor is not there to just simply keep the beat. What a conductor does is they're showing people how to breathe together. Because when we breathe together, that actually enables the type of sound that's produced. We can show speed, we can show tempo, we can show articulation, we can show intensity. In these breath gestures, which is essentially how conductors are moving their hands, and that is what empowers an orchestra to make a beautiful sound together and how they can support the sustain of those sounds and the sustain of the idea of a musical thread because fundamentally you are leading them. Tiltbrush is a Google VR application that we're using and so we can start discussing how the contour of a beat looks, how much the variation there is between the height of the beats, what the rebound looks like. So if we're going to do something that's legato and beautiful, you would see lots of contours, lots of smooth curves. So you'd see something like this. And you can see that basically we're keeping the beat on the same plane level. To experience what the beat looks like was shocking to me. I've never been able to look at the visual history of my baton and its travel path to kind of examine what sounds are being produced and how I'm provoking them. But with VR, I can now see exactly what my gesture looks like. Many conducting teachers talk about painting a canvas. When you are able to actually step outside of yourself and walk around the beat that you've painted in this VR environment. To me, seeing what that looks like, it was breathtaking. One of the most beautiful things about being in an orchestra is that there are no devices required. There are no screens, there's no power, and we can actually have human interaction. This use of VR is a tool to help people interact better with humans. That's really what this is all about. It's about creating better human connection. <laughs>